Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be showing you how to properly contour your under bust for different sizes. So you can see this dress I have right here. You can see how fitted it's looking. It's a bustier with strap and there's no bra with it. You can see the bust line is really fitted and well contoured and this is what you are going to learn in this class for a plus size for a small size for any size at all using this technique gives you a perfect under bust tightening and you need no bra to wear with it so i'm zooming my camera right now to show you how this under bust really fits and you see that and this is the back there's no bra and uh, it fits perfectly well to the body you can actually make a, du uh, a tube dress with this you can make a bustier with yoke you can make only a tube with strap as you can see well fitted so if this is what you want to learn in this class please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you Welcome back to Samurai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, we share sewing uh, tips and tricks. And today's tutorial, we want to, I want to show you how to properly contour your under bust line perfectly for all sizes. So we are going to start up this tutorial using a plus size. So we are working on a plus size basic bodies pattern and here i'm done drafting the plus size basic bodies pattern the, ba the basic block i need and i'll be explaining to you what i have here this is the shoulder which is the starting point this is the plus size chest line this is the plus size bust point this is the plus size under bust point and this is her waist line okay so we are working on plus size front bodies pattern okay because you are talking about the under bust and the under bust can be situated on the front part so uh, for taking your under bust measurement uh, perfectly you need to take your your tape around your bust okay so your tape has to be taken around your bust perfectly so it, uh, it has to be firm under where the uh, the bust stops that is where the under bust is you need to take it very firmly if you don't take it firmly i repeat if you don't take it firmly you will not properly contour your under bust for bustiers, you can wear your dress without a bra, okay? Like you can see right there on the thumbnail, that dress I made it is a strap, uh, a, a bustier with strap, and you can see there's no bra right there, and it gives a perfect fit. So that is what I want to teach you today, and with this, you have um, an enjoyable sewing all the time. So this um, uh, block I have now, I will first of all impute my neck depth and neck, de uh, neck width. Neck depth and neck width, you use your bust divide by 12. So the bust I'm working with here is 48, divide by 12 is 4 inches. So for that reason, I have my, my neck depth as 4 and my neck width as four so it's not all the time you use your three by three for everybody for plus sizes it will not work for them if you are making a total neck for them and you use three by three it will actually choke their neck so you can see 48 divided by 12 or both divided by 12 that is what you use for every size for depth and for width of your neck now coming to the armhole Okay, before we go back to the armhole, this is the measurement I took from the shoulder, her chest line. I have um, um, from the 
uh, from the after one inch drop i have eight and a half for her chest line how did i get that chest line measurements to get the chest line after the one inch drop you also need your bust divided by six plus one point five and her boss is 48 divided by 6 plus 1.5. I have 8.5. So this 8.5 I have here, that is what I measured after one inch drop. And this is it. You can see it there. It's and half. And that is the chest line. I go back to my shoulder line. I place my tape. I have my chest line at 9.5 plus the one inch. That is 8.5 plus 1 is 9.5. After that, her bust point is 12 and a half, so she, you can see she's on a bigger size. And her under bust is 17, and her waist is 21. So in case you have measurements like this, don't fret it. The essence of this tutorial is to show you how to contour all bust sizes. Even if the person is a giant, with this method, you'll be able to contour your under bust of any part without saying, take one here, take two here. Go up by one, go up by two. Such measurement does not work for everybody. Okay? So this is my center front line for this plus size. And we are going to impute her that. Her bust pan is 9 inches. Okay? So this is 9 inches. Divide by 2 is 4 and a half. I'll come over to the bust point. I'm going to mark 4 and a half. I'll come down to the waist. I'm going to mark four and a half. Now, I'm going to connect this my line, which is the waist that I've connected my waist that we were we after this I will want to uh, have the armhole line uh, drafted. So the armhole line we had the eight and a half divided by two. This is the midline. So for all sizes, whether a plus size, small size, please come in, come in by 0 0.75. It has been tested and proved. So instead of going to take across back, you know, wasting time with across back and across front. Okay, we have a calculation that works for everybody. For the front, 0 0.75 works perfectly for all sizes. So this is it. Now for a plus size contour line this is uh, the tip and the trick your dart intake ha can be one inch one inch you can take one inch one inch because this is a super super plus size so if you want to tighten it very appropriately you can go one inch here one inch here you can also go 0 0.75 0 0.75 but you cannot go less than these figures so here you can do 0 0.75 on each side you can do one inch on each side if you are doing 0 0.75 it means your whole that intake on the waist will be 1.5 and if you are doing one it means two inches so all works perfectly so i'm going to use the one one inch on both sides okay to tighten this because we are working with a no bra no bra contouring okay so you can see i added one inch so what does that mean it means i'm going to replace this one inch the waist i'm working with here is 45 divided by four gave me 11.25 inches that is 11 and a quarter so this 11 and a quarter, that is what I already have here. Now I've added 2 inches here. I'll replace the 2 inches. Please take note of that. So this is my 2 inches. And then I'll connect it back to my bust. The bust I have here, I'm working with bust 48 divided by, two, uh, by 4 is 12. So I'll just go back here and connect to this point. Okay? So even if you have a funny shape here, don't worry about it, okay? By the time you contour and sew, the funny shape is gone. You won't see it again, okay? So don't look at funny shape. Whatever measurements you have for any cleanse. Some cleanse tummy is bigger. 
uh, uh, waist is bigger than the bust because of the tummy okay so when you have shapes like that just work with the shape at the end of the day following this pattern you will have it fit perfectly on that plant so now we've done this and we want to talk about the difference which is the bust that which gives us the perfect contour line so for this particular plant her back length that is the back bodies, although we are not talking about the back bodies now, but her back length is, the difference is 4 inches. So I have 21 here, that means her back length is 17, front length is, um, front length is 21, okay? So the difference is uh, 4 inches, because 21 minus 17 will give us our boss that. So I have a detailed video on how to, um, what you, you have to do when your boss that difference is more than three, uh, is up to three, four, and five. I'll be dropping the link on the description box below. And uh, if you follow this video at the end, you will still, you will still see the end screen uh, video. Then you can click on it and watch what you need to do. But for this class, we are working on our under bust. So the highest you can impute for this difference of 4 inches is 3 inches. So I just come over to my bust line and I'll mark 3 inches and I find the midpoint of... Okay, sorry about that. This is my bust line now. So let me extend my lines to the lines I added. So my bust line, this is my bust point line. And on this line, I measure the 3 inches and half of it is here. So I'm going to connect here to my bust point. The half of it, I'll connect to my bust point and I'll come out by 0 0.75 for uh, closing of bust that. So I'll measure 0 0.75 and I'm going to mark that 0 0.75 this way and I'll take it back to my uh, chest line. So you can see what I have here now. So here comes the main business of the day which is a under bust contouring. So for this client under bust, her under bust measurement is 40 inches. So 40 divided by four will give us 10 inches. So you, you can see, this is where I need you to pay attention. So for every size, every size, after you have imputed one inch for a super plus size, if not, the standard is 1.5. But for a super contouring, two inches. So once you have added this dart back and connected to your chest line, just come over for your underboss contouring. You can see where I place my tape on the center front on that underboss. So that measurement you took very firmly, which I am telling you that I had 40 inches for this plant. I'll mark 40 divided by 10 by 4. I have. 10. I will mark 10. Then I'll place my tape here and measure all that is remaining. You can see that all I have here remaining is about two and a half. So this two and a half, this is what I do with it. I come to the front, I put 0 0.25. So that is remaining 2.25. That is two and a quarter. Remember, we have two and a half. I put zero, if you take away, that is from this dark leg, you put a quarter. From that two and a half, you've taken a quarter, and from this dark leg, you replaced that, you, sorry, you now put the remaining. Two and a half was what we got here, 2.5 was what we got here. And from here to here, you got, you put 0 0.25. What will be remaining will be 2.25, 2.25. Put together from here to here and here that is 2.25 plus 0 0.25 will give you what you have at this point so just try this method and drop your comment on the comment section to say thank you so you can see how I placed this this is how I place this you place your your pattern ruler this way and you see so you can see the contour line you come back here and place your pattern ruler 
to touch the boss point so you can see how i did that and then you connect to the that leg and then you do what connect back to the that leg so if you have done this please try and blend here okay so i see some people who are uh, some of my students who are not blending here well so you need to blend it okay so if your ruler cannot blend well for you just go ahead so that when you are sewing it it doesn't give you stress to sew so you can see me i just blended it so when i'm cutting it i'll just give a curve to it at that point so with this you have properly tightened this on that bust properly tighten this on that bust. The clients wearing this dress definitely will not need any bra for it. So now, the next thing I want to do is to, I want to make like a tube dress for this client. So to make a tube dress for this client, see what you need to do. From that bust point line, you take the difference between bust point and on that bust, that becomes your bust radius. So this bust radius, I love to rotate it. For me, I have four and a half as a difference. So I, I love to rotate that four and a half. That gives me the exact point at which this bust is going to sit. Can you see? So this is where this bust is going to sit. So all of this. So if the bust is going to sit at this point, then if i'm making a tube for this client i'll just come over from the shoulder to this and find the midpoint okay i'll find the midpoint this is the midpoint right here and i'm going to connect this midpoint directly to the bust point and now on this line i connected i'm going to mark this dif difference of 4.5 once again this is where I have it. So I love to come up by one inch because I don't like to expose my bust. So if I come up by one inch, so if you are making a tube, all you need to do is to place your pattern ruler at that one inch and take it down to your chest line this way and take it down this way to touch this line. Can you see? Can you see that? So that becomes a sweeter tube neckline. Unless you want to make a straight neck uh, tube, you can go this way and mark straight. So it depends on what you want. So here, for this over bust tightening, please use 0 0.75. 0 0.75. From here to here, 0 0.7. The total you should have is 1.5. Okay, please don't go more than that. If not, it will, you have a funny shape there. So here, you can see how I placed my pattern ruler. The, I'm using the straight part of my, this curve ruler. And I make it two for this length. So this, what, what I have here, give it a try. Transfer it to fabric. And you will see what I'm talking about. So I'll just go ahead and cut this um, pattern. Because we need to close our bust that right now. So what we just made now is a a bustier for for a plus size. So if you need a yoke to this. If you need a, a yoke to this, it's very simple. This is your yoke. So I'll also cut it and keep. Okay, so this will serve as your yoke. I'm assuming you are making a total neckline. So let me just cut it because some of you might want to make a yoke for your dress. So I'll just cut through the neckline. Let it serve as our yoke. Okay. So here you don't need to, if you are making use of a, a yoke, work with it this way. You don't need to replace any that because the, you can see the neckline is going into, into the armhole. So it takes care of it. And I think I've treated, you know, questions like this so many times. So this becomes your yoke, can you see, for this plus size dress. Then I'll go ahead and cut off my underbust, which is the main purpose of this tutorial. So you can see how I'm cutting it, putting that curve 
Okay, please don't make it sharp. So once I get here, I'll stop. I'll follow this contour line. Once I get here, I'll take up this dot. Can you see? This is the dot I'm taking off. Then I'll go ahead and do this. That is closing up my bust. That. So this bust that technique is a very beautiful one. It gives you the contour you need. So I just lift it up and close. Can you see? So I close it up. Then I blend what I have here. Okay, I'll just blend it into this part. Or you can also add something to it. So I'll just find something to, uh, to eat. Okay, so if you add something to it, it takes care of the the accommodation okay so i think the way i did it now has matched up so i wouldn't even need any matching up so just fill it in this way to match up on this line all right so now i'm going to cut what i have on that over but So don't give this part any sharp point. So see what I do here. Just create a little curve. Can you see? And I take up this. So this is what we have for our plus size now. So by the time you start sewing now, first of all, make sure you pin your under bust. That is the only part you pin. Match it up. So if you match it up, you might have an S, a little excess. It does not matter it's because of the way this is slanted. Okay, you sew at 0 0.5 inch. That is the only part you pin, and you keep aligning this. Okay, you keep aligning it as you are sewing. You are aligning it as you are sewing, aligning it. Can you see? So right here, we we'll want. I want to match up here. Okay, okay, so what I have here is correct. What I have here is also correct. So once you match here and so I want to share another trick with you. You match your under bust and a, a pin from here to the waistline. Then start sewing at 0 0.5. Once you get to the under bust, raise your on uh, your presser foot up. Once you raise it up, next is to start matching. You keep matching. You keep matching. You keep matching. So even if you uh, matched and you have an SL, because of this curve, you can see it, the other bus is well tightened. So definitely, sometimes you have an SS. Okay. So here I'm having a little SL, but that, that does not mean. All you need to do after ironing, just put your pattern ruler or just blend it into the armhole. It does not affect anything. Even if you are making your yoke, use the same pattern. Okay, because definitely here will be longer than from here. You can see because of the contour pattern. So that is how to go about the, the contouring. Okay, if you really want it very firm, okay, we use one inch. But I will advise you use 1.5. That is what I use. 1.5 is perfect. Okay, it will still give you a well snatched on that post. But if you want super super snatched, one inch. So you can try the one inch and try the 0 0.75. Whichever one gives you a better result, you go with it. But both works perfectly. So this is our yoke. So your yoke now, once you have joined here, this is what you have on the okay. So this is actually a small size and this is her shoulder line so the bust we are working with here remember for you to get your neckline you need to use your bust divide by 12. so 
So the bust I'm working with here is 34 divided by 12. I got 2.8. So now I always advise this 2.8. 8 is bigger. You approximate it. It's only only on a, a bigger size. Okay, so I wouldn't go by uh, 2.75 on my tape rule because what I have here is 0.75, and after that I have a line before I have my three inches. So I always advise you take three by three for smaller for this smaller size that is not up to three. So I use three by three. Okay, three inches by three inches. And it is perfect for smaller sizes unless you have a smaller size that is 3.25 please go by 3.25 okay so because this neckline is always a technical width when it's more than three all right so the next thing we want to do now I want to show you her chest line her chest line here is eight going with our calculation of um, busts Divide by 6 plus 1.5. Her boss is 34. Divide by 6 plus 1.5 gave me 7.1. So I ignore 1 and take 7 because 1 is very insignificant. So this is my 1 inch drop and I marked 7. You can see my 7. So now I've marked my 7. Mid point of 7 is 3.5. For a smaller size, still go in by 0 0.75 and it works perfectly well I connect it there so the bust this is the chest line right now this is a uh, bust point this is an under bust point and this is a waist line so I want to explain what I have here on the vertical line so from the shoulder plus one inch seven plus one drop is eight her bust point is ten under bust is thirteen and her waist is seventeen so her bust is 34 divide by 4 i have 8.5 so that is how i got this line and her waist is 26 divide by 4 i got six six and a half and i connected it to this point so now i'm going to create her armhole line so this is her armhole line so i'm using the smaller part of my because the bigger one will not do that so her Bust um, term circumference is her uh, bust term um, span is seven divided by four gave me three and a half. So I'll transfer the three and a half right here and then I'll just make my dart leg. So I've created my dart leg right here. Now we want to start up the main business of this tutorial, which is the under bust tightening. So for this uh, small size to tighten it. I always use 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Remember, we are talking about no bra. If you don't want to wear a bra, okay, this is what you do, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So make sure you take that measurement very well. From here to here, 0 0.75 from here. So everything gives me 1.5. That is what I'm working for, for the dots. So I just connect it here. And go back and do what? Connect here. So her difference, boss difference is 1.5. Okay, so you just put 1.5. Find the um, the midline of 1.5, which is 0 0.75. So I just connect the 1.5, connect this, and come back by 0 0.75 for closing my boss that. And I'll go this way. So you can see this is actually a small size. So now it's time for us to start contouring this uh, particular dress. So these darts we added here, you need to replace it before you do whatever thing you want to do. So I'm replacing it here now. Can you see? The 1.5, I replaced it here. So before I do this, I was supposed to replace. Please don't do what I just did here. Replace before you draft your... So I'm supposed to do this after replacement, get this to this point and come out to this point. And this is the actual part I was supposed to close my that. So please ignore. Right, so the underbust I'm working with right here is the same. Okay, I'm working with 20, uh, 26. 
so it's actually it's actually the same with the waistline so 26 divided by uh, 4 will give us 6 and half so this is 6 and half divided by 4 is 6.5 so I mark my 6.5 so what I have left here is 1 and half so I'll just put from here this that leg 0 0.25 and the rest 1.25 I'll put it here so this is 1.25 that's one and a quarter this is 0 0.25 which is a quarter and the whole here is one and a half so if you add this and this it will give you this so I'll now place my pattern ruler now you can see how I place my ruler you can see so just look at how I place my ruler then I'll connect it to this point. I'll connect it to this point. So we have contoured our under bust as you can see. So I want to make a tube just like we did in the other one. So if I want to make a tube for her, I'll just get the difference. So the difference is three inches. So I just go go ahead and make get my midline, shoulder midline connect it to the bus point and take this bus radius I'll mark the bus radius right here add one inch to it as you can see so if I've done that I place my ruler to the chest line this way flip it this way to the um, to the armhole line as you can see then the tightening remains 0 0.75 i advise 0 0.75 that is one and a half as a whole it gives a perfect contour line so i'll just go ahead and do this flip to this and do this so i'm just taking my time to explain all of this i'm not rushing this class so if you happen to um understand what we are doing here you'll be very happy at the end of the day so this is our neckline and this is the yoke line if you are making a yoke for this dress so we are done with this class and i'm going to cut out what i have on this pattern so just give all of this a try transfer to fabric and sew like i explained so once you sew drop on, you, on the comment section the results and if you are in a whatsapp group you can also drop your results on the whatsapp page okay so i'll just go ahead and cut so now i'm including the I'm including our the yoke so in case you want to make a yoke so for here you can see you can just cut through here it does not really if you want you can blend if you want you can also cut so it does not really affect anything at that point so I'll close my first that. so you can see this was a uh, a small size can also wear a bra comfortably so this is what we have for here so here we, we, we just cut off a little to blend it up appropriately so I'll now cut out the yoke and then cut this way so always blend here don't leave pointed uh, edges just always make a little blend if not you have a pointed edge okay so i've done that and it does not affect anything so from here i'll cut out here then you can go ahead and transfer to fabric so these are the results we have okay so match up the chest line to be sure they are matching up and this is the result we have so you sew like i explained before always pin the under bus match okay when you match you have a little excess once you get here 
you keep matching because this part is longer you don't expect it to match to the bust point so you go ahead if you have an excess just trim it off and that is that so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial and i believe this class was super duper helpful to you so if this is your first time joining simbri fashion academy youtube channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye